I'm Tanya Mead. I'm a rehabber, and I'm back crazy. It's showtime. From Baby Bunny to, to Bugs Bunny, Peter Rabbit, Thumper, had those babies not had the opportunity to flourish, we would be devoid of all the benefits they bring to our lives. Okay, well, seriously, though, now is the time you're actually going to start seeing baby bunnies hopping around the yard, and keeping them safe is something we can all do. Tanya Mead is a wildlife rehabber, and she joins us today via Zoom. Hi, Tanya. Tell me. Hi, how are, how are you? I'm great, but those are not bunnies hanging from the tree behind you. No, the, those are fruit bats. We don't have them in Delaware, but I'm actually really into bats, but we're talking about bunnies today. <laughs> and uh, the type of bunnies that we have here in Delaware and Maryland are the cottontail rabbits. So it's actually bunny season right now. When did it start? So it started in March. They have four litters from usually from March till September. And the little baby bunnies are called kittens. Oh. Kittens. Kittens, okay. yeah. There's a the doe is the mom and the buck is the father. Okay. So uh do bunnies I'm gonna ask you some really ignorant questions here, Tanya, because I <laughs> simply don't know. Uh do bunnies nest underground? Do they get in a bush? What do they do? So they actually most of the time they're in people's yards or in a field and they dig or burrow under on the grass and they use their fur and the grass to make a little nest. Um, and so you really can't see them um, until the little bunnies start hopping around. And then that's usually when people see the bunnies. So if the bunnies are in the nest um, and they're tiny, where is the mom? So the mom stays away, hoping that you won't even find the nest. So many times people come across the nest if you're mowing the yard or maybe your cat or dog finds um, the bats and so, um, or finds the rabbits, the baby rabbits. And so they think that they're abandoned, but the mom is hiding off and doesn't even come around the bunnies. It's not till late at night at dusk when the mom feeds the baby bunnies or she also feeds them in the early morning. So you won't see the mom. So many people think that the mom has abandoned the babies and that's not true okay. okay so so then let me make sure i understand what you're saying what you're telling me is mom will take off to try to lure a predator away from the kittens the baby bunnies so let's say i'm out cutting the grass and i see mom what should i do follow her you, know you should doing? just leave leave her alone leave the baby bunnies go let them go now you may see a bunny scurry off you can pick that bunny up and put it back in the nest. There's a myth that if you pick up a baby bunny, the mom will abandon it, but it won't. The human Just put the bunny that. back where, where it's at. Now, if you think the bunnies are abandoned, um, a really easy trick to do is to put two pieces of yarn over top of the nest, like an X, and leave it go for 24 hours. If come back and then and the yarn is moved you know the mom is coming back and feeding the babies another trick that you can do is also put flour down and then you can see the footprints of the mom if she comes back now if the oh. mom doesn't come back you want to call a rehabber um, you don't want to feed or give any water to the bunny just call a rehabber because their stomachs are very sensitive and a rehabber knows exactly how to feed the baby and um, give a formula to the baby. That's interesting. Okay, so I have a dog who doesn't necessarily want to hurt the, the, the bunnies. <laughs> he just thinks they're play toys. So if I see a nest, should I, I should probably keep him away, right? Yes, and many people, I tell many people, if there's a nest in your fenced, art, fenced area, what you need to do is put your dog on a leash and walk them in a different area. If you have a cat, you need to keep your cat inside. I know that's really hard, but you really should um, do that the, by, you know, within three weeks, the bunny's off and on their own, um, doesn't need the mom anymore. And so if you do find a bunny and it needs some help because it's bleeding or the cat or the dog has its um, in its mouth and it is, it's injured, you can call Delaware Wildlife rescue.com that's the organization i belong to 
and we will come and um, pick up the, the, the bunny and um, rescue it and take care of it, and then we'll release it back into the wild. So is that and how you would find a, a rehabber is, uh, is to call? Yes, you want to call Del DelawareWildlifeRescue.com. I belong to the Delaware Council of Wildlife Re Rehabilitators and Educator Association. Now, I can only work in Delaware because I am a licensed rehabber. I cannot go to Maryland um, to pick up a rabbit and bring it into Delaware and vice versa. So if you're in Maryland or Virginia, you would have to call um, or Maryland Fish and Wildlife, Virginia Fish and Wildlife, Delaware Fish and uh, Wildlife, or like I said, the Delaware Wildlife Rescue Organization. Um, and then there are names, um, different rescue people that you can call and get up with. Well, it's nice starting the uh, bunny season knowing all this information. I didn't know that you, there were organizations that did that. Wildlife Rehabber Tanya Mead, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Well, You're welcome.